guys, and welcome to another video, and over the past week, there's been a lot of mess and drama with the new game Cookie Mama Cookstar on the Nintendo Switch, and I believe the PS4 also, and if you don't know what's been happening, this game was released on the Nintendo eShop on March 31st, 2020, and then it was quickly taken off of the eShop. And a lot of people have been having problems with this game, with their Nintendo Switches overheating and batteries dying and stuff like that. Stuff that is not good, and some problems are probably in the game. And one conclusion a lot of people have, and a lot of theories people have about this, is that they're actually using the blockchain technology to mine Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. Because that has been prevalent in other games before, and they were thinking that they're doing it in this game, and that's why it's using up most of, most of the Switch's power and causing the battery to overheat and stuff like that. So, like, a lot of people are just jumping to conclusions with that, but it turns out on a recent interview that that's false. And I, it wouldn't really make sense anyway why they'd be mining Bitcoin on, like, a Nintendo Switch. That doesn't really make any sense. Well, I mean, I in some context it could, but, like, I understand why people would think that. Because the developer, I think, has had some history with that in the past with, like, blockchain and stuff like that. So... It makes a little more sense with the second thing that, um, or the second reason, or, well, the first more valid reason to this is that there's been some licensing issues with the developer of Cookie Mama Cookstar and the actual IP owner of it, because I believe there was, um, they're not able to release the game at that certain time or something like that, they said in the interview. So, I'm honestly not sure when this could be released. It could be, like, pushed back a few months, or it, it's never gonna have a release. I don't know. We might get news in a few days, or not. I don't know. So, they did release a few physical copies of this game out in the wild, so they're probably gonna, if this game ends up getting completely cancelled and not releasing ever again, those physical copies are gonna... They're, they're gonna shoot up in price, and they're gonna be pretty hard to find. So, right now, they're just the normal price, most of them. Some of them are a little more expensive, but... Like, I could... It, it's in, This is a weird situation right now. Usually, um, with Nintendo Switch games and or PS4... Like, this really hasn't happened before, and Cookie Mama is a pretty... Um, big franchise, especially for Nintendo consoles. It's not the biggest one, but it, it is definitely has some fans, and it definitely is somewhat popular. So, th this has been gaining some, um, attention, and, like, this, this is actually kind of, like, this, this is really weird, to be honest. I haven't really seen this happen before. So... Our final bit of news here is about LEGO Super Mario, which will be releasing on August 1st, 2020, with the starter kit costing $60, which is pretty fair for LEGOs, and the expansion kits will cost $30 each. And then there's also going to be a Bowser's Castle big expansion pack, which is going to cost $100, and will include LEGO Dry Bones. LEGO Dry Bones is confirmed. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. LEGO Dry Bones is awesome.